Hi everybody, this is Sam Biggins with Avi Networks, and in this video we're going to walk through getting started with the Avi Vantage platform in AWS. We're going to start out here at the home page of aws.amazon.com and come up to the search button here and type Avi Vantage, which is going to bring us to the search results and allow us to select the Avi Vantage platform. From here, we're going to click Continue to Subscribe, and then click Continue to Configuration. On this page, we can select the version and the region that we would like for our instance, and then click Continue to Launch. Here, we can configure the instance type, VPC settings, and so on. For the EC2 instance type, please refer to the sizing guide link in the description to determine which instance is right for you. Uh, the default instance is the smallest size recommended for a controller and will support up to about 100 virtual services. Now, under the security settings, um, you can click to create a new template based on our recommendations, which is going to give you enough to get off the ground, um, which I'm using here, and of course set your key pair. See the link in the description for a detailed list of ports used. Once you've done that, you can click to go ahead and launch the instance. I've now jumped over to my console here where you can see that my image has launched and is up and running. And I've assigned a public IP to it that I'm going to copy and go ahead and open up in my browser here. And of course, since uh, I don't have a valid certificate, I'm going to have to confirm it. And then this will bring me to the main page here. Now, of course, this is going to prompt me to set a username and password for the first time. Of course, since this is an internet facing device, I encourage you to use a strong password, even if this is just meant to be a lab device. And from here, we will set our DNS uh, addresses. And of course, um, any other information if you want uh, in terms of NTP. And then we will set up the notification email that we want to use uh, for setting us alerts and reports and so forth. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually set up the integration that will allow this controller to launch these service engines which do the actual work and are the data plane part of the solution. On this screen, you'll be able to put in your AWS credentials either using a key ID and secret or in my case, I'm using an AWS IAM role that I've already assigned. After that, we'll select the availability zones that we want this to be able to use. And from there, we can parcel out um, the different individual management subnets um, that will be used for managing the service engines, which again are the worker part of this solution. We, in this case, don't need to support multiple tenants, so we'll go ahead and select no. And then the setup is complete, so we'll just wait a second, and then this will launch us directly into the Avi dashboard. And now we're ready to get rolling. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I will post my contact information as well as some additional helpful links in the description. Cheers!